Hey, good morning, everybody. Whew. I feel so much calmer today. Yesterday was pretty intense. Yeah, the uh, hormones, when you're going through a release of the excess because the body doesn't need the extra hormones, it's pretty intense. And that's why I say, you guys, when you're going through your healing process, it's going to be intense. Women have to go through healing processes every month because of the fact that they are the the world. Their uterus is a representation of the world. And when the world goes through changes, the uterus is like her barometer because that's what holds life, assuming that she's still fertile and that she can still have babies. So, yeah, I would say that that um, with the atmosphere the way it is, women, when you finally get regular on your period, <laughs> you're going to have some intense, intense periods. Because, yes, the atmosphere is intense. It is reflective. So anyway, so drug side effects. I want to mention this because I'm looking at, like, when people say, well, what are the side effects of jelly juice? And I'm just like, there's such a connotation with the word side effects. And you see it also on the inserts as well. I just took a shower, so sorry. So you see it on the inserts when you get your therapeutics, like the vaccines and stuff, and you're like, oh, my God, you're risking leukemia. You're, lo you're risking autoimmune disorders. You're risking cancer. You're risking disease. You're risking chronic illness. You're risking, you know, everything under the sun. And, and, and so it doesn't seem appetizing because people are trying to get away from side effects, right? They have this relationship to side effects as if it was something bad. And this is where the Zilli juice has to be aligned because it is aligned. Side effects are no different than any kind of evolution. Why do some people get side effects and others don't? Because it's based upon the state of your body. If your body has weaknesses in certain areas like your pancreas or other areas, then yeah, you're going to have some kind of evolution happen while you're taking that drug. Well, why would that drug do that? Because the drug is a hormone. If you break down a food to its acidic state, because all food is from biodiversity. All biodiversity comes from the universe. The universe is made up of image, okay? Matters, gases, acids, and electrical impulses. That's what your food is, is basically image. And it helps with your image, but you have to feel the pain. What is that pain? It's every single chronic disease, diagnosable condition, cancer, autoimmune disorder, Everything under the sun. So when you're taking a drug like who knows what, I don't even have any drugs in the house to even tell you, but you just, if some of you are on prescription drugs and you look at the back of the bottle, it says you could, you know, if you have headaches or say you're really tired. If you have headaches, yeah, I mean, you have obviously areas in your brain that are very underdeveloped that finally is developing because of the components that are in the drug. Now, are you going to look at it that way? No, you're going to be like, oh, I don't want to be in pain. That's why you're taking the drugs to begin with. So already... When you're on drugs and then you're feeling evolution, you're going to keep destroying yourself because you're going to try to then stop every single evolution. That's why you're taking the drugs to begin with. You're not trying to evolve. If that was the case, then you would be actually feeling your pain. And so, so yeah, so, so when you're tired, like this is the thing. When I'm dealing with my PMS or PM, whatever it is that I'm dealing with as far as my period, and even a couple days before, because even a couple days before, I'm just like so tired. That's the whole body. Fatigue during certain times for women, that's the whole body trying to repair itself. If you have specific issues, like I know during, like on my period and maybe a couple days before, I get bloated and and that's the body holding on to food so it can really repair, well not say repair, but it really evolve the uterus because it is a whole uterine evolution to be able to carry life in the new environment okay and so fatigue is the body saying i need to rest because you need to have a whole body do it and that's what the whole sleeping thing is during the night okay so if you don't have any kind of symptoms and the only thing when you're on the j juice and when you're finally healed and sealed is that you're tired that means that you've been exposed to a new variant the body has to be um the body has to go through its processes and then, yeah, and then uh, every, you know, once a month or 30 days or whatever it is, whatever the cycle is, 
based upon the activity in the atmosphere, you're going to have a either a really relatively easy period or it's going to be downright intense like it was for me yesterday. But I felt the eggs develop like a couple weeks ago and I said, oh my God, if I get my period after being exposed to a new virus, I'm going to be so pissed because I just had my period not only like two weeks, you know, right after my other period. So I just had one yesterday. So anyways, and so I'm like, okay, if I get my period, then I'm going to be so pissed. But no, it saved up. And it, and when the eggs finally, or not the, when the eggs dropped, okay, I felt it. But then when the, when the, when the uterus is just washing everything away, that's the prostaglandins. That's the body releasing the excess. And it also affects the, your colon and your gut. Those two are totally connected. They, they basically share walls on the way out the door. Okay, if you know your body, women. Okay, so so anyways, that's fatigue when you're PMDD. When you have, when, when women go through like gestational diabetes and they go through all these different issues while they're pregnant, yeah, the, body, the, the, the baby's taking many resources and then it's taking more resources than the body can handle and so the body needs to grow or it needs to do stuff and you don't have enough resources to replenish while the baby is also using the resources. So that's why disease also happens when women are pregnant because the body is now trying to evolve both you and the baby simultaneously. So all drug side effects are is just evolution, but the reason why people do not ever evolve on drugs is because the way they respond to their evolution, which is why they're on the drugs to begin with, okay? It's such a trippy conundrum. And so when you look at the J-juice and you look at vaccines and you look at the vaccine inserts and it's, it is innovation, they're not trying to kill you, but if you have major deficits, then yeah, everything under those, the fine print could be a potential, but that's okay if you're doing the J-juice. If you're not doing the J-juice, then yeah, you're playing Russian roulette. You don't know how the thermodynamics and the evolution is going to affect you. But when you're doing the J-juice and you're eating the food supply and you're expecting to feel some kind of way then that's not a big deal. Any side effects on the vaccines is not going to be a big deal. You're not probably going to be taking too many drugs because you're not going to need them because you already figured out that you have the J-juice and that the J-juice is going to then help support your evolutionary process. And you're going to feel that shit anyways, regardless. Okay, because obviously if the drug is being brought in your body, giving you that evolutionary side effect, then that's something that's already in your DNA makeup or it would happen to everybody and they would take that drug off the market because they don't want everybody evolving at the same time. They only want some of you evolving at the same time so they could figure out how to control the influx, the inflow to the hospital systems. Okay, so evolution has been weaponized against humanity. You don't know your divinity, humans. You do not know your divinity, humans. And so every single time you feel a pain, you want to run away from it. Yesterday was case in point. I was so in pain yesterday. It, it may not seem like, well, yeah, I mean, I, I feel much better today because yesterday was I was going through an evolution with my uterus, but I had no freaking patience to debate with anyone, much less someone that says they're on the J-juice. So yesterday, I, you could see me just fly off, not say fly off the handle, but I was pretty intense. And that's, when you're going through pain like that, it's, it's no joke. It's intense. And so that's probably why some women, you know, if, if a woman who is actually living, would she be good as president with her finger on the button? I would say sometimes you just may not want to have that. And I'm okay with all the males being presidents. I don't care if we have women who are going through some issues. I don't say issues, but yeah, I mean, I guess if you take out a woman's uterus and they have no no symptoms that, and they're on these drugs, then that, they'd be great, you know, as a, as a leader of the free world who's dealing with enemies and has access to all the different codes out there. But I would say that, yeah, it's it's, it's pretty hell for, for a woman. Like, I feel like I'm, like, bleeding like a teenager. I told my husband, I'm like, God, I'm bleeding like a teenager. I feel like I'm a teenager with all my emotions up and down and everything because, yeah, I mean, my body is recalibrating to the new environment. And that is the youthful uterus that sustains life, that is able to bring forth life into the new environment. And so anyways, um, so that's what drugs do. So it's not like, you know, no drug, I mean, biotech deals with devolving people, okay? And when, when a person, let's say they're like, I was watching a movie last night about dope or about drugs, 
the Recovery Boys, I think this was on Netflix, the Recovery Boys, and they were saying that they would be on these total, like, benders where they'd be, like, on these drugs, and, and they, I think they do, like, meth or something, and they said they would have to go get their next fix because their body is in so much pain that if they, and if they got off their drug or didn't take their drug, then the body would try to live, and that's painful. And so the only way that they could suppress that evolution is to take more drugs to keep them under a haze. They don't feel anything. And yeah, it's killing them. But at least, you know, with the drug, it anesthetized them during that the body's trying to survive process, but it's still killing them. And you can see what happens when someone is on drugs or meth or anything like that. I mean, they get so skinny, they get sores, and they and they look like a total shell of themselves. So... So yeah, so the body is always continuously trying to live. And then what happens is the holistic and the allopathic world suppress the evolution or they redirect the energy to still have you live, but definitely not indefinitely or you be living indefinitely. <sighs> and they try to keep you in the game. My issue with corporate America was the fact that my uterus was just going through its stuff every freaking month. And it would put me in so many different emotions that it was so out of control that I couldn't tell, you know, if I was reacting to someone or something because of my hormones or, you know, my politically correctness was never, you know, was, was not, was not there. And so, yeah, I told people off sometimes in the office, <laughs> Boy, did I, it didn't win me a great reviews, but that's the thing, you know, when, when you are dealing with hormones, PC is not one of the major things that you're going to be thinking about. And so and so how do you women deal with this when they're on the J-juice and then they're dealing with their uterus? I don't even know. I would say that if you start feeling a certain kind of way and, you, you know, you know, to make it in the corporate world, to really make it in the corporate world, you have to control your hormones. You have to control your bodily functions. You have to control your evolution. And can you do that with the J-Juice? Yeah, you could do it. I think your evolution might be a bit more trippier. It might be a bit different. Um, you may not evolve as fast. Could you survive major events? Of course, it's how you deal with them. Um, and so, yeah, you could do the J-Juice in the corporate world and deal with all the emotions because people do. People still, you know, my group, they still take some of their antibiotics when they're dealing with a headache because they have to go and perform or present something. And so... So as long as you keep doing a lot more J-Juice and you find ways to deal with your hormones and your emotions when you're in, you know, company of people who don't understand what you're going through, you do what you got to do. People will, people do what they got to do. And so, but I'm just giving you kind of like the most rawest form as far as J-Juice and your hormones and then your evolution, okay, which is no different than the side effects and all the drugs. And then how you how you could potentially handle that in the world out there that doesn't understand this. And so that's also a process. So how I'm seeing, you know, I mean, but then, yeah, the world out there, I'm telling you, the world out there is no joke. Things are painful. If you never really had to deal with pain out there, then, yeah, you're going to have a hard time with J-Juice. Drug addicts will have a very hard time with J-Juice because that's why they take drugs. So they don't deal with their, is is their issues and their pain and their evolution. So the ones that are really going to take to J-Juice are the ones that haven't really drugged themselves up too much, that aren't super reliant on what other people think, that are probably not in a high-level position at work because they could not afford to be have some downtime or to be a little unpredictable, okay? So I would imagine that those that are really stuck way up there on the corporate ladder, they're probably not going to do J-Juice until they're on their way down. And when they're on their way down, then they'll have the time because they'll have home time. They'll have downtime. But when you're on your, when you're rising on the way up, you're not going to want to mess with that. Okay. Not saying you couldn't, but would you really want to take yourself out of the game to then come back? You know, you could just rise as high as you can. And then when you start falling, you extricate yourself, get a different job with lesser hours and start healing. So that way you can rise again. Okay. Okay, because that's what evolution is. Evolution is when you're rising and falling based upon the environment, whether it's environment in your body or the environment out there. And the ability to reinvent yourself is huge with the J-Juice. It's huge. 
you're not stuck with the with the pattern and, and the life that you have now. It, it can always change. But if it works right now, then there's no reason to change it until it doesn't work. And when it doesn't work, at least hopefully you'll nip it in the bud before it becomes disastrous. And then you can start redirecting the energy and bring it more back to you. And then you can reinvent yourself again. And that's the beauty of humanity is that we could, we've been reinventing ourselves, but we've been doing mass, mass, you know, uh, resets where many people were passed away. Okay. And so maybe you can reinvent yourself on a smaller scale and not get caught up in the massive reset that's out there because you know that's going on. And you just observe everything that happens. So that's all I got to say right now. I'm going to drink some coffee and do some work. But um, you guys have a good day. But side effects are just evolution. How you deal with your evolution is the difference of whether or not you're going to live a long time or pass away prematurely. And prematurely is all relative to your expectation of how long you think you should live. Everybody has a different perception of how long they should live. All right. Bye.